I am Lego Batman, and I approve of these following messages for Roll Out Roll Call and Twins of Power. I've got a secret. Shh. I haven't told anybody this yet. Hi, it's Dave from All The Cool Stuff in Fording Bridge, back in our continuing series of videos leading up to the uh, launch of Roll Out Roll Call and Twins of Power 2014. We just got over three weeks left. So if you've not booked your ticket yet or booked your pre-ordered your exclusives, you've got to get in there now. But I said, I've got a secret. I've not announced this yet, so you guys will be the first to hear this. Um, but one of the most popular things we had at Roll Out Roll Call in Twins of Power last year was the giant castle Grayskull. Uh, that Mattel were releasing for the Masters of the Universe line. Now this was the first time that this product had been shown in the UK and uh, brilliant to have. I mean what a fantastic feature and this year Mattel are doing it again for us. We've been told see look, twins of power. We've been told uh, that they will be showcasing this year the brand new Battle Ram and the new giant jumbo he-man figures so i don't know if you're familiar with the, the the star wars gentle giant jumbo figures that they've been doing of the old kenner figures but effectively mattel are going to do the similar sort of thing with the he-man figures so we're going to have a couple of those on show now this is the first time in the uk that battle ram and the jumbo figures will be shown there'll also be a couple of other uh new and forthcoming products that will be revealed at the show as well you know for for folk for the first time in the UK so this is so super cool no other show no other show does this for you in the UK okay so we've got an amazing uh, uh, exclusive of collectible toys there for you guys to you know get your teeth into so that's so cool and thank you very very much to Mattel for allowing us to showcase this for like UK fans so one of the things that we mentioned in the, the previous videos um, was that I'd be talking about some of the competitions and exclusives that we got uh, lined up for that. Um, so this video will concentrate on that predominantly. Uh, we've got three main competitions that you can get involved with. You don't actually have to be coming to the show to get involved with some of them either. So bear that in mind if you can't make it and if you can't, well, shame on you. You're not one of those, oh, it's Southampton people, are you? For <laughs> But three main contests, uh, you got the cosplay contest, you got the photo contest, and you've got the custom contest. Now the custom contest we touched on in a previous video, effectively take uh, a G.I. Joe vehicle or an Action Force vehicle and repaint it as in the style of a Transformer character. So you guys will be familiar with the San Diego exclusive in the past of Starscream and the Sky Striker, Jeff Iron Sky Striker, uh, Hound and the uh, Vamp Jeep, and Shockwave as a his tank. Just take any G.I. Joe vehicle, repaint it up as your favorite Transformer character. Now I'll be showing you in another video my own work in progress. I said I'm gonna be taking part in this. Now bear in mind, I've got the skills of a dead roadkill monkey on this sort of things, but I am doing two for the show. Um, so uh, I'll give you an in progress and I know that on the Transformers YouTube community page on Facebook uh, Dave Mentz has been putting up some of his work in progress as well so if you've not seen that either please head over to that Facebook page Transformers YouTube community and check out those um, uh, work in progress pictures by Dave Mentz um, so if you participate in that we've got three prizes available uh, there's some very 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 cool prizes indeed uh, if you are in third place, you win a G.I. Joe Collector's Club uh, Iceberg. If you're in second place, you win a G.I. Joe Collector's Club Footloose figure. Now, that is completely sold out now. You can't get that anywhere else. And if you come first, you win a G.I. Joe Collector's Club Footloose figure and a Transformer Collector's Club Run Amok figure. Now, again, that's sold out, and that's a really cool prize. You know, this isn't a case of... Oh, just participate for the heck of it you're actually winning some very very cool stuff here guys so like come on get involved be part of it the cosplay contest is one of the funniest things of each show that we've done and over the years uh, we've had a, a very 
strange and eclectic mix of uh, cosplay uh, entries. We only really started holding it as a contest on the third show, which was our first weekend of show. And all three uh, winners were G.I. Joe characters. We had Snake Eyes, Ripper and Lady J. Um, in the second year, they were all uh, G.I. Joe characters. Uh, so why is that? Why are there no Transformer guys uh, winning? Why are there no Masters of the Universe? You, you guys are lacking. Last year we did have a Masters of the Universe entry. It was Drunken He-Man and he was actually one of my favourites. If, if, if I were to pick my top three favourite ones of last year, they would be uh, Sergeant Slaughter or Sergeant Slammer, uh, as we called him here in the UK. It would be Drunk He-Man and Dr. Mindbender. Um, who was actually one of the winners um, that was like Anne Murray uh, who's been helping out with a lot of travel information for the uh, lead up to the show so uh, Anne's coming back Anne's been doing work in progress pictures as well she's coming as Madame Raz so we have w at least one one Masters of the Universe entry there but come on guys I want to see some Transformer guys I want to see some Masters of the Universe um, uh, entrants as well it's like can't G.I. Joe's got the weirdest and wacky characters but so have those other franchises as well so come on like get involved I want to see more of them we had a brilliant Death's Head at the very second show we ever did and that is one of my all-time favorite ones that was like Phil Croucher um, so Phil come on I know you haven't yet to get involved again and uh, and I know you've done a couple so come on I want to see some guys I want to see some more you've got three weeks if you've not started already get started we've got some great prizes lined up for that if you come third place in the cosplay contest you win an exclusive G.I. Joe retaliation laptop bag now this was only given away to special uh, uh, VIPs and cast and crew members so you can't you couldn't buy this anywhere it's a very very exclusive prize if you come second you win a Masters of the Universe Strobo figure which was last year's exclusive that we had and also a G.I. Joe retaliation laptop bag and if you come first place first place winner you win a run amok from the Transformers Collectors Club, a Strobo and the G.I. Joe, uh, Joe retaliation laptop bag so again, really cool prizes. It's not a case of like, you know, just, oh, I just wanted to do this. You actually get the chance to win some very, very cool stuff here, guys. Come on, no other show does this for you. Third, third competition that we do is the photo competition. Now, we had some great entries in last year and this is not dependent on you it's actually attending the show. You can actually participate from wherever you are around the world we have two rules in this you have to include these two images you have to include this rollout roll call image and you also have to include this twins of power image in your photographs so there's no way of cheating on this one you've got to include those if you don't include those then it doesn't count if you then submit your picture to either the rollout roll call page or the twins of power page we will host those in the official album and then it's all completely down to people liking those pictures so you've got to like tell all your friends tell like the wider community that you're taking part in this and get them to vote for your picture the one with the most votes wins and we got first second and third pri uh, place prizes third place you win a five pound all the cool stuff voucher which you can use in store where I am here or online it's either or it's not a problem uh, second place is £10 and first place is £15 all this cool stuff gift voucher to use online or in store so again that's a pretty cool thing you can like use whatever you want okay as long as it's featuring those two pictures and your toys from either G.I. Joe, Transformers or Masters of the Universe it doesn't have to have all three it could be either or or anything like that this is a gallery of some of the previous entries which were fantastic you know absolutely love some of these pictures and some of them are very serious some of them are like dioramas and some of them are completely nuts and bonkers and that's what we love some of them are people's collections so you get the idea get involved don't have to come to the show but you've got the opportunity to win uh three prizes there so come on guys let's do it like i said we've got just over three weeks to the show now so it's really ramping up 
last video we went through all the additional extra guests which were fantastic we got the exclusives now we are having to actually put uh, a stake in the ground and confirm our final numbers so once we do this they have to then ship we don't have an infinite number of exclusives so if you've not actually pre-ordered yet for your transformers collectors club slipstream circuit or transmutate you need to do that now there's no guarantee from this point onwards that we'll have those available because you've had plenty of chances we need to get these shipped now so we'll have a few more but if lots of other people order then they're gone okay so this is it um gi joe collectors club bombardier admiral keelhaul big bear cesspool falcon same applies to them Masters of the Universe, Goatman, you got to do it. If you have not put your orders in, do them now before the weekend. After then, it's literally down to like what we've got left in stock. Um, to give you an idea of the most popular ones for uh, Transformers, it's Slipstream. For G.I. Joe, it's Cesspool and Bombardier. Uh, for Masters of the Universe, well, there's only Goatman, really. So it's Goatman. But please, guys, you got that chance there. The only show that actually has official toys uh, from the brands that they represent available at the show. Okay, this is the first time we've done this. Don't miss that opportunity. Get involved, please. You've got cool prizes, which you actually genuinely get for actually participating in, in the competitions. You've got that in front of you. You've got door prizes for weekend uh, ticket holders. Every hour, you could win either Sideburn from the Transformers Collectors Club um, Iceberg from the G.I. Joe Collectors Club or Loki and Cow. That's a really cool prize from Mike Mattel. Um, if you're a weekend pass holder, seven chances. you got seven chances to win one of those. That's really, really cool. Um, like I said, three weeks to go if you've not got your ticket yet. Book now. Book online at all the cool stuff. Join us on the Facebook page, which is either Roll Out Roll Call or Twins of Power. Engage with the other community members. Talk about like your cosplay entry. Do a group cosplay entry. That would be pretty cool. I'd like to see something like that. Um, book your exclusives and watch out for forthcoming videos. Subscribe to this channel, please. Uh, I'm just babbling on now because I'm just babbling for the hell of it. But yeah, please, please. I want to see you there and we want to see some great contest entries for the cosplay, the custom and the photo. So see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bouch, wow, kabouch, 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 kab